Welcome to Novell, where we are making IT work as one. Today we'd like to introduce you to one of Novell's Quick Fix on-demand training modules. This Quick Fix training discusses Novell ZCM10 management of software packages and bundles. Linda Frampton will do the presentation. We'll start with bundle types. Directive bundle. A directive bundle allows you to start an action. Uh, very similar to scheduled actions in Zen desktop management. Uh, but you have actions, you have apply personality, store personality, and all of the bundles have an empty um, option so that you can create and do whatever it is you'd like inside this particular bundle. But inside the directive bundle, it only has a uh, launch tab, and the launch tab allows you to launch something, a script, an executable, um, whatever the case may be, uh, this is a, um, a directive bundle, so basically you can launch something or schedule something to happen. There are file bundles. Uh, also, we have an empty bundle. We have a copy directory, create and delete directory, install directory, copy files, and install files. The copy directory and copy files, these are options where you can copy a directory or a file from an existing server somewhere out there in your environment. You just have to have a UNC path in order to get to those files or directories. Install directory and install files, these are done from within the content repository. This means that this information will be copied into the content repository and duplicated or replicated out to all of our other primary servers and possibly our satellites. So here's an example of how this works. The blue area is your primary server, where the green area is your managed device. So let's, for instance, say that the device refreshes. Um, it might be a startup. It might be a time for its refresh. But once it does its refresh, it's going to check the assignment manager. It's going to go out and ask the assignment service on the server side if there are any new assignments for this particular user or device. It's going to check uh, for things such as new assignments. It's also going to check for version changes. If it finds any information, it's going to come back to the bundle manager. And the bundle manager is going to go through a process and he's going to say, are there any new bundles? Yes, we've got new bundles. So he'll then get the content. He'll cache that information into Zencache. If there were no new bundles or no uh, version changes, then he would simply read information from the Zen cache and would not go out and talk to the server. You are watching a small portion of a Novell Quick Fix On Demand training module. The complete module contains all the necessary information that you will need. Let's continue by reviewing how the bundle admin service works. The admin service, uh, <clears throat> as we talked about, so the Zen Control Center, Admin Studio Distribution Wizard, um, Zman, and then the the migration utility all right <clears throat> um, into the the Zenwork server, and then your admin service grabs all that information. Your assignment information is is collected from there, and then put uh, over into a staging directory. In the staging directory, then the Zen loader processes this information in the queue and the content is then put into the content repository. The information you have just reviewed is a portion of a quick fix on demand training module. The complete training module includes all pertinent information, including bundle components and terms, how they install and work as well as best practices. Thank you for joining us. For further information on Novell's on-demand training and how to purchase this and other Novell on-demand training, please click on the URL provided to the right of this video in the description box.